Greetings YouTube! So we are back with some more Mass Effect 2. Last time we have been just scooping up all the party members. We gained last recording session it was it was Morden. We gained um Garrus. We gained I think it's Zaid? Zaid? I don't know. We'll figure out how to pronounce his name. But uh yeah, so we snatched up a good bit of people in those last couple of videos and uh hey the plan is to keep going we got to assemble team we got 12 slots that we can you know put the teammates into and we're gonna we're gonna fill each and every one of them we're going to go out collecting the squad members and um dang i uh <laughs> i was just looking and boy is it going to be an interesting thing as soon as we get to the tier list after this game because like damn like 12 squad members not counting like other characters within this game it's gonna be a big tier list so uh that's that's an exciting thought to think about but uh you know in the meantime we're gonna hop in because uh we have mass effect to play and uh so last time you see, we got we got Shepard here, and he's got a very scarred, very messed up face. And you see, last time what happened is I continued after we recorded the videos, and I saved up that way we could we could get some upgrades, and we can you know fix his face. I don't think it's here. I'm trying to remember where it was. I thought it was there. Prototypes, Cerberus, Collector, Chidney, Inferno. Apparently it's not. Wait, it is a ship enhancement because it's uh, upgrading the medical bay. Yeah, yeah, look at that. 50,000. And I grind it up to get to the 60,000. Because I didn't want to just completely deplete all the resources. But uh, yeah, so there we go. I eventually we're going to fix up his face. And so see here's the thing is I'm like sitting here. We got a lot of squad members to get. We got six more that I believe we're missing. Let's Okay, I can't see anybody else. That's sad. I was hoping I could see the rest of the team. But um I got a lot of squad members to see. And so I don't think we're going to talk to everybody yet. I want to I want to collect some more. I want to, you know, get the group a little bit bigger. That way we can sit here and, um, you know, just feel a bit better when we go around doing one of those talking episodes. Or I don't know, maybe I should... Uh, you know, maybe I should just... Um, you know sprinkle it in here and there you know that way it's not just like one big video chatting with everybody i don't know because i also feel like it's kind of nice to have those big like lore dump episodes i don't know you guys let me know how you like it do you prefer if we if we kind of you know talk to everybody one big episode of chatting or do you want it mixed in you know talk to at least a person an episode and then if we need to we um you know if we're about to progress in the story we talk to more people guys we're returning to the citadel it's been it's been a bit um you know they thought we were dead we've got people sending us emails being like are you alive are you dead so we're going to stop in, possibly chat with some people who, uh, you know, were friends from the first game. But uh, more specifically, we're here looking for, I believe her name is Kasumi, and she is the second DLC character, which, you know, I have never played these, and so I don't have um, any experience with either of these DLC characters. So I've been kind of bringing them about just because it's kind of fun to hear their stuff, what they're about. 
And, uh, dang, I was wrong. We have seven people still to collect. So we're not even halfway there. But, uh, after him, we'll be able to. We can cycle his appearance. That's actually pretty cool looking armor. Can I? Nope. Add him as well. Man, that armor looks great on Garrus. Mm, I'm gonna hold off on leveling up until I get some more points. Yeah, that feels good. And we exit. Take a shuttle to dock. Commander Shepard, enter the password and receive a free gift. Well, heck. That, um... Please tell me your password, Commander Shepard. <laughs> Cut the crap. Um, I mean, I'm trying to get this companion, so we're just going to play along Silence for now. Is golden. Good to finally meet you, Commander Shepard. Kasumi Goto. I'm a fan. We've got a spot set up Let's for you go. in Normandy. Let's... Make yourself at home. Looking forward to it. Haven't done this kind of thing before. Big mission, saving the galaxy. I'm really glad you're helping me out with the heist. Can't wait to see how you look in formal wear. What? what? Formal wear Nobody to told me anything about I this. I guess you could go with what you have on, but you'd kind of stick out at a fancy party. I'm looking for my old partner's gray box. A man named Donovan Hawk took it, and I'm planning to get it back. We'll get it back. If that's what Cerberus promised you, we'll get it done. It'll be fun. And if we're lucky, you won't even have to draw your gun. For a sec, she almost we looked like, um... We should wrap this up. You look pretty silly standing there talking to an advertisement. See you on the ship, Shepard. I was gonna say it, um... From behind at first, she almost looked like she was a Corian. But, uh, no, she is not. This recruits is a 20 kilo ferrous slug. Feel the weight! I'm sorry, sir, but I'll need you to remove any biotic amp you might be wearing. What's up? Just gonna pass on through real quick. Looks like they've tightened up security. Shut it down. What? Do you seriously think? Yeah, okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, sir. Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're dead. Well, I'm getting that everywhere. It's a pain in the ass. Who do I talk to about it? Our station commander is just beyond the scanners. Out and to the right. He can reinstate your IDs. Yeah, that might be useful. You'll have to make him scream a little. He's not going to tell you everything just because you ask. I, I know, sir. If you don't have the stomach or you're worried about being reported, I can take care of it. Well, no, that sir. just doesn't sound like that's some proper, you know, uh, <laughs> practices being uh, yes, done I here. The already, Commander Shepard. Might uh, My console says you're might dead. be an investigation into CSEC. Mm, Don't change. Can we stay dead? Anonymity is useful on my current mission. Sure, you're a goddamn hero. It's not like we have to worry about you smuggling guns in or something. I just oh. put a block in the system. Officially, you still don't exist. And you won't get hassled by the security check. I mean, that's convenient. You should head up to the Presidium, though. The Council would probably like to know that one of their lost specters is still kicking. Well, you know, even though we, you know, kind of sacrificed the they didn't Council. didn't make much effort to confirm my death. I'll make about as much effort to tell them I'm alive. There we go. That's Fair precisely enough. what I was thinking. But if you have any friends in the Presidium Tower, they might want to know you're all right. Yeah. I'll... I heard you and Counselor Anderson used to be pretty tight. Hey. Anyway, something else you need? Anderson's cool. We ranked him pretty work. highly. I think, um... I think we will be all good. I you need anything else, let me know. Gotta go say hello to all these people who think I'm dead. It's like, I mean, they're not wrong. Okay, now, see, here's the thing. Is last time we thought the Citadel was extreme, 
but it's gotten even crazier since last time. Mm, I'm probably going to start off by hitting one of these rapid transits. Hello, hello, joining us in the chat. I, um, you know, I apologize that your Twitch app keeps not letting you know when we're going live. It, um, it definitely seems to be funky on, um, I, I notice it definitely has, like, a pretty significant delay. Just, um, from when, you know, like, Laura or my tablet over here will get the notification that I've gone live. Okay, let's see. Let's head to the Presidium Tower. I'm sure that, uh, you know, some people would be happy to find out that we did, in fact, survive uh, the terrible Shepherd, uh, destruction of the Normandy. Welcome that back to was, the ranks you know, of the living. Pretty sad. I wasn't sure you got my message. What did you want to see me about? I'll be honest. I was hoping to convince the other counselors to be here for this meeting. Unfortunately, they rarely listened to me. Sometimes I wonder if Udina would have been the better choice for this. No, Anderson, we like you. You're the preference. I'm still not clear on why you wanted me to come. There's been a lot of talk since you came back. Some of what I hear has been, frankly, a little disturbing. I wanted to give you a chance to explain your actions. Maybe get the Council to see things from your point of view. But they refuse to see you. You let the previous Council die during Sovereign's attack on the Citadel. They feel you'll always put human interests before galactic concerns. Rumors that you're working with Cerberus haven't helped. What are you doing out there? I mean, like, you guys kind of did just leave me for dead. Like, don't get me wrong. I get it. Pretty, you know, like, horrendous event that happened. Super low chance of survival. But, like, man, this is the game we're explain? playing. You left me for dead. Turned your back on me, just like you've done to our missing colonists. We thought you were dead. As soon as I heard different, I sent you that message. I know, Anderson. I appreciate you. But we're going renegade. I know you, Shepard. I know you wouldn't work for Cerberus without a good reason. Something more is going on here. The Collectors are abducting our colonists in the Terminus systems. And I think they're working for the Reapers. The Collectors? We hadn't considered that. There's so little data. They've always seemed like a fringe threat. If they're a front for the Reapers, this is big. But even that may not be enough to get the Council off its tail. The others have spent the past two years convincing themselves the Reapers don't exist. Goodness gracious. I tried to get the truth out, but they don't want to see it. It's just easier for them to accept Sovereign as a Geth warship. What was the point of sacrificing the last council if they're just going to continue being the biggest bunch of idiots in the known galaxy? Like, guys, I have a feeling, tier list, council's not moving anywhere. The original council was made up of a bunch of blind, stubborn morons. The new council looks just as bad. Oh, man. I basically didn't have to say anything. <laughs> Shepard got it for me. I a title if you want it. I can reinstate your Spectre status. I won't win any popularity contests. But they can't really object. Your title was never officially rescinded when you died. I mean, that's kind of nice. You're still a hero to humanity. And the Council knows the danger of discounting our opinion. I mean... Let's... Like, can I I'll keep whatever asset the Spectre I can get status? <laughs> like... Coming from you, it's as good as the first time. Not quite the same level of ceremony. And more symbolic than useful, but it still has weight in some quarters. The rest is up to you. I'll keep the Council and the Alliance off your back. Shouldn't be too hard if you're operating out in the Terminus systems. Anderson, we Look need at to this talk about... son of a bitch. Shepard, what are you doing here? I got a long list of people I didn't want to see, and your name is right at the top. Oh, Shepard's spicy. mutual, believe me. Your return is a bureaucratic nightmare for us. I hope you didn't do anything foolish, Counselor. Like try to arrange a meeting with the Council. There could be serious political ramifications. I don't answer to you, Udina. Why don't you go to your office and think about that for a while? Ooh, of Anderson's course, gotten bold. Counselor, good day to both of you. Sorry about that. Udina's never gotten over the fact that I got the Council position instead of him. 
Sometimes I need to put him in his place. Yeah, you do. <laughs> you know, Anderson, I probably got somebody, you know, sitting on my ship who could uh, deal with that problem for you. Eh? Eh? Chat? What do you keep him around for? He's got his uses. And if you want something done on the Citadel, he knows who can make it happen. Plus, he's always happy to attend all those formal diplomatic functions I can't be bothered with. Yeah, that sounds about right. All right, I'm heading out of here. Of it's course, it's been I nice understand. being all, you know, I wish I could do more catching help. up, that kind of but stuff. But, like, I would actually prefer to be anywhere but here. Okay, so what do we got on this one? Yeah, I don't think I need anything else here for now, so we're going to head on out. We got our squad member that we were looking for, and, uh, you know, the, the kind of goal of this stream, you know, is we're going to we're gonna try and collect people. We're going to build up that squad because, uh, you know, we finally just hit fifty percent. So, uh, but yeah, we're going. Man, time. God, everybody keeps emailing me. What's going on? Let me see it. Thank you again. Oh, that's nice. He opened a restaurant. Alliance soldiers get to eat for free. It's the uh, the guy that we got his wife's body uh, brought it back out to him. Heck. Uh, you know, somebody wants an interview, just trying to, you know, hop in and, you know, ride my coattails. Alrighty, and Daniel has finally seen the way and knows that a uh, renegade was in fact the correct way to rescue him. Alright, so we're going to do a little yeah, bit of chit chat. Heard about Ferris Fields. Any news on your brother? He's gone. They're all gone. But we'll get them back. Yeah, we Shepard will. And Lawson are on it. We'll get your brother. Back. I mean, Lawson Make not sure so much. She kind of sucks. Joker, how you doing? Commander, that's it for now. God damn it, I double tapped. Yes, Shepard. I don't that's want to talk now. to Edie. Logging you, Edie. Shepard. Shepard. There we Commander. go. I just, I love how everybody says his name. Shepard! <laughs> like, it's so rushed. I assume everything is going well up here. I really want a chance to put the Normandy through her paces. I just have to trim up the drive output, and it'll be like we never lost her. Safety standards advise against manipulating drive settings while engines are powered and in use, Mr. Moreau. Commander, can we shut this thing off? I don't need it in my day-to-day. <laughs> I kind of like Cranky Joker though, so like to stick with Joker. it. Find a way to deal with it. Yeah, reasoning with the intercom is not my strong point. <laughs> the intercom. Ah, uh, shoot. Thanks. I'll remember this. You are welcome. Yeah, let's let's chat it up. So How's the mission how do you going? Think we're doing? Well, the Normandy's not as ready as she could be. There's always more we could upgrade. As for the crew, you'd have to ask a, a people person. <laughs> well, what do you think about the people? What do you think about the crew? Well, about the ones you went out with last. Well, it seems like Garrus has finally worked that stick out of his butt, but now he's trying to beat guys to death with it. I can't believe I like the old Garrus better. Zaid is like you, but takes checks. As long as it's not my money, we're good. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. I like that. That was that was good. Both those were quality commentaries on both those characters. <laughs> Ever think about the old Normandy and the trouble we got up to? Yeah, those seem like the good old days now, but come on, it, it was hell at the time. Geth, Saren, Sovereign, and then we got dumped. We're stuck in a weird place, sure, but back then it wasn't all sunshine and bunnies. Yeah, tell me about the old, the, the old crew. I heard most survived. Almost did. Presley didn't. And the rest of us just sort of drifted apart. The Alliance didn't care. I don't think they liked all the non-humans in your crew. We were your team. Bunch of racists. With the Normandy destroyed and you gone, 
There wasn't much keeping us together. Kind of nice that Presley died, though. He was pretty cranky. I forgot to put him on the tier list, but, I mean, you guys knew where he was going to be anyways. That's it for now. He just, like, you, always cranky, always talking smack, you know. He's not a fun guy. Though, I mean, I guess he was always good for keeping uh, Joker cranky. Which, you know, has its pluses. I'm doing just a little bit of crew chatting. Just because, um, you know, we were discussing how during Mass Effect 1, I, um, I didn't do the best job of, like, talking to the crew. And so I'm going to try and sprinkle it in a little bit more. But I'm going to sprinkle, like, one conversation in with, like, a... Or I'm going to sprinkle in a conversation with a different crew member, like, each of the episodes, try and make it, um... Commander Shepard, I watched the Normandy crumble with you on board. It's good to see you alive. Uh, kind of just make it to where we can, um, you know, like, progress through everybody's stories, but also not have just, like, a big old episode where it's, like, just chatting. I'm shocked. You're serving on a Cerberus vessel now? Surprising. Even to me. Yet, here I am. The kind of trauma you endured would have changed most people. But not you, I see. Welcome back, Shepard. Do you have everything you need? I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the Just original. It's a lot bigger. Only thing missing are my private reserves. I even had a bottle of Ceres ice brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. I'll keep an eye we'll out get for another. a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive, and we have much larger concerns ahead. There's a very good chance this mission will be a one-way trip. Are you prepared for that? I've been through the reclaiming of Shanxi, the Skillian Blitz. We survived the Battle of the Citadel and the destruction of the Normandy together. I've lived a full life. No regrets. I'd like to make sure the crew gets the same opportunity. See you later, chat. I see some of you guys are heading off. I will talk to you guys in the next stream. Um, these, you know, will definitely be getting uploaded to YouTube later. But uh, see you guys later, and uh, you know we're gonna keep chatting it up for now. You're not the Cerberus type, Doctor. I don't work for Cerberus. I work for you. On a mission that may be crucial to the survival of the human race. I have faith that your dealings with Cerberus will be ethical. I trust you, Commander. Well, I appreciate that. I got a, got a special kind of trust for you two. Anybody who watched the rankings knows that I uh, have a soft spot for Dr. Chakwas. I, uh, you know, I felt like she was the Scout Harding of this. And uh, if you don't know who that is, don't worry. We might do a Dragon Age eventually. Because, um, kind of one of my thought processes, you know, I'm playing through the Mass Effects because A, they were remastered, B, we're supposed to be getting a new Mass Effect coming out. So I kind of want to have them fresh in the brain. But, you know, along those lines, we also have a Dragon Age that's going to be, you know, hopefully coming out soon. I think it's actually coming out first. So, yeah, I uh, I could definitely see myself, you know, playing through, you know, those three in anticipation, kind of getting hyped for the new Dragon Age, you know, if we kind of see a release date coming around the corner for that. Doctor, you've been with the Alliance for years. Why leave now? After the Normandy was lost, the surviving crew was reassigned. I was stationed at the Mars Naval Medical Center. A very respectable position, but it wasn't on a starship. Likes to fly. Colonial military life isn't for you? I've spent most of my life on warships, never knowing what the next mission might bring. I'm used to the hum of engines. The creaking of bulkheads, that subtle vertigo when the momentum dampeners kick in. Life planet side is just too static, too boring. I'll see you later, Doctor. Alrighty, Come so on, we huh? snuck in the two kind of smaller character chats this time. Now we're gonna go see if we can grab anybody else. Head to the Combat Information Center. Man, I don't even think I needed to pull up a loading screen. 
That was speedy. All right, so let's hop out of here to the mass relay. All right, where do we want to go now? So I can help, help. So let's recruit and then we'll chat with everybody and then we'll kind of get an idea of, um, you know, doing the helping missions. Okay, so we got an investigate, recover, explore, recruit, recruit. I'm probably going to knock off one of these two recruiting ones next. And uh, we're going to start off by recruiting one of my personal favorite characters. I um, I got a massive soft spot for Jack, which is uh, the character that we're coming over to get. And, uh, you know, I think she is highly underrated. I think a lot of people, you know, don't give her the appreciation that she deserves. Uh, Kasumi's going to come with us because I'd like to see what she's got. And then... Uh, you know, let's go. I've seen Garrus do this one, so let's go. Let's go with Zaid. Zaid. Somebody said his name last time, and I still wasn't paying attention. I'm gonna level up some Master Thief. Oh, so she doesn't get the the ability I was looking for. That's sad. Kind of looking for her to have the uh, incendiary ability that I used to always go with. It is okay, though. And he still had nothing. Alright. Time to pick us up a convict. Alright, squad, let's roll out. What Welcome can I do for you? Shepherd. Your package is being Oh. So we're having weirdness happening with Mass Effect 2 right now. Okay. We're back. It just like all of a sudden closed out the game for me, but it looks like on the stream it just kinda like froze there for you guys. Um you know, basically, he just uh, told us that it's a high security vessel. We need to relinquish our weapons before we proceed. And uh, guys, you know what the answer to that's going to be. Relinquish one bullet. Where do you want it? Everyone, stand down, Commander. I'm Warden Kiro, and this is my ship. Your weapons will be returned on the way out. You must realize this is just a standard procedure. I'm anything but standard, though, bro. I'm not surrendering my gun. Period. Who do you think I am? Let them proceed. Our Got a little stare down more going. Than secure enough to handle three armed guests. We're bringing Jack out of cryo. As soon as the funds clear, you can be on your way. If you'll follow me to out processing for the pickup, Commander. Let's go. And so the roll up. Two. As you can see, we keep tight control over the population. Yeah, this is a very scary look into what the future of prison systems could be. Each prisoner's cell is a self-contained modular unit. I've blown a few out the airlocks as an example. The ship is made up of 30 cell blocks identical to this one. We house thousands of criminals. Absolutely insane to we think can put about. We the whole place in lockdown on a moment's notice. Nothing goes wrong here. Can you tell me about Jack? Cerberus hasn't told you. Jack is the meanest handful of violence and hate I've ever encountered. Dangerous, crazy, and very powerful. You'll see soon enough. I look forward to it. How'd you end up running this ship? I was in law enforcement on Palavin and got sick of seeing criminals escape out into the galaxy to carry on with their crimes. Bounty hunters aren't dependable. You're not hiring the right one. <laughs> I knew he'd have something to say about that. This idea. Keep the criminals in space, and the galaxy is a safer place. Hmm. So he's kind of the brain behind this. You do this, this. because you think it's necessary? 
Every day I see the worst sapient life has to offer. Governments are soft, unwilling to make the hard choices. Someone had to stand up and make the galaxy safe. Guys, this is why privatized jails. Not a great idea. Maintaining a population this size in space can't be cheap. We can cut corners that governments can't, and each prisoner brings in a fee from his home world. These individuals are violent, and their home planets pay well to keep them here. What happens if the home world doesn't want to pay? We explain that we can't maintain the prisoner without their help, so we'll be forced to release him back onto his home world at an unspecified place and time. Sounds a bit like extortion. You don't have to agree with my methods, but don't question my motives. These are despicable people, and I'm keeping them locked up. I Let's mean, this dude Maybe is a giant greasy piece place. of shit. We're in space. They have nowhere to go, and they know it. But still, we exercise extreme caution. These are dangerous individuals. We have many ways to control the population. I'm going to confirm that the funds from Cerberus cleared. Out processing is straight down this hallway. Just keep going past the interrogation rooms and the Supermax wing. I'll catch up with you later, Shepard. Yeah, everybody's real sus of him already. Torture. Yep, just uh Is there something I can do for you? This isn't my business. You know, I you uh stand, I'm not going to renegade there cuz that's Hey. Hey guys, over here. No. Let me ask you something. No, 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 I don't I don't feel like talking to you, man. I'm here for one person and one person only. We got it that way. Yeah, we'll go this way next cuz I think we got to hit up that other direction. Out processing is through the door on the far side of the room. Well, this just looks like uh, kind of a bit of empty My space. Apologies, Shepard. You're more valuable as a prisoner than a customer. Drop your weapons and proceed into this open cell. You will not be harmed. Yeah, no, that's not happening. I'll send you there myself. Activate systems. <laughs> that guy got out quick. Now you see me. Oh my god, did she just teleport over there? Holy shit. That's cool. Damn. That is super awesome. I don't I don't I don't know if she needs to say it every time though. Oh, also I could see that becoming a problem. Yeah, if she's going to keep teleporting in when there's like a bunch of people, that could definitely be a problem. God damn it. I'm hoping she's, uh... She's going to be doing enough damage that when she teleports like back into those groups, it's not going to be as big of a deal. Because we're going to be able to take them down pretty quick. And you know, for the most part, I feel like they kind of, um... They have everything like uh, spread out enough. Poking. Nice. Can't do it. I see them. Down. Sound like we had people behind us for a second. Shepard is on the loose. Repeat, Shepard is loose. Get people down here. Oh come on, man! Did you really? <laughs> you you didn't have to, man. I uh, I would have been perfectly fine to let you try and run away. I'm guessing that hacking that control will open all the cell doors at once. It's the only way to get Jack out of there. I'm doing it. Be Gonna ready. start a prison riot, guys. Time to release the pods. That's Jack?
Yeah, she is so badass and dangerous. They literally, in prison, have to keep her in cryo sleep. Which, like, also is an interesting thing because it's like it's like you're not really serving a prison sentence we have to get if you're just in cryo sleep but you're also not aging so it's like just like entirely a weird situation where it's like Warning. Warning. are we just gonna keep her Maybe jailed indefinitely or what Let's move. yeah she's not really in danger she looks like she is uh now what's this? Been handling it quite well I, that's an interesting one to uh, add. God, she is just like sprinting through these these uh, sections. Wow, at least she'll be easy to track. Yeah, no, she uh, she's doing enough damage to where she should be very easy to find. They've seen it. Well, I mean, that's just not cool. Can't just do that. Oh, that's not cool. Come on. Woo! Guys, that was not looking good. I'm not trying to get another death going. Guys, can we take out this person's shield? Come on. Oh, God, she just teleported right up on him. Okay, she, but she teleports out. Okay, that's a badass ability. And like, you know, it might not be fair because, you know, she's a DLC character and so nobody else has that kind of ability. But like, damn, that seems cool. Like, holy crap, that would be... That's rough. But, uh, you know, at the same time, this was kind of a sketchy jail to be working at like uh, working at Arkham Asylum, like you assume that the life insurance has got to be absolutely insane. God, all these people, you know, making bank here though. Cloaking. If I do that? Ooh, it homed quite well. That's a heavy fire. Oh god. 12, 14, and 30. We're trying to shoot past her. <laughs> I feel like you guys are doing a really poor job of staying out of my way. Like, if I'm running towards a piece of cover, maybe use a different piece of cover. I don't feel like it's a crazy concept, but uh, you know, maybe it's one that you guys could learn to figure out. Oh, big robot boy. Damn, he's nailing me with that rocket. You guys... Okay, there must be people down low, too. Oh, that dodge. Alright, I'm about to have to get out of here. Come on, Shepard, I need to sprint. I need to move. Come on. Smoking. Firing an impact shot. I don't know who was doing the damage there, but uh, I appreciated that burst. Going silent. Right. Alright, come on. Find Jack! Full alert! Find Jack! Ooh. I just realized, so this says Blue Sun, so we literally have, um... One of the gangs is just, like, straight up running. Or, like, is the security at this place. Firing an impact shot. That, uh... That probably is not the best idea, but, you know, it also kind of... It wouldn't be, like, a surprising thing. I I feel like, you know, it's just kind of one of those... Where, like, thinking about it, it's just... Like, 
how useful Over would it be to have a you know to have a spot where you could literally lock up your enemies and so like you know you have this front that it's like oh it's a prison but you know in actuality it um you know it's just a it's a cover that you guys are using to basically lock up your opposition all right see i want to make sure i wasn't missing any um Any, like, uh, you know, resources for that kind of thing. Anything to, you know, save me that little bit of time, you know, after recording the videos. Alright, let's hit it. Earth bypass. Boom, boom. Oh, that's nice and easy. Close together. It's so nice to be back to these mini games, the ones that I'm, like, super familiar with. Because, like, man. Just playing Frogger over and over and over again in the first one, that was rough. I like that there's variety in this one. You know, you're not just playing the same goddamn minigame over and over again. Oh man, he's just laying folks out. You're valuable, Shepard. I could have sold you and lived like a king. Ah, cool, man. But you're too much trouble. At least I can recapture Jack. Not happening. You're a two-bit slave trader, and I don't have time for it. I do the hard things civil governments are unwilling to. This is for the good of the galaxy. Also, there's no way this dude doesn't make, like, an absolute metric fuck ton of money just off the fact that he, um... You know, just off the fact that he has literally got the, the like, craziest privatized, like, jail in space like not only that but they're also like extorting the planets and that kind of thing okay it's the lower section that i need to be shooting okay, we're going to be taking these out that way we can weaken them up and take them out yeah please oh, i can't see if you're not upset that is the big upset. Alright. Get out. You know, it's funny because this is uh, almost the same exact battle that <laughs> the uh, the uh, Matriarch Venezia had where it's just like, oh, you know, shield, cover the waves, you know, just defeat them, and then eventually she pops out and there's like a little fight. But I feel like this one's much better done because it, like, you have other things you're trying to destroy. It's not just like, oh, just kill the wave and then she's gonna pop out. We got company. This will put him down. God, I need to find somebody who's good at taking out the shields because that seems to be where we're struggling is the shields just last so long we burn through armor and that kind of stuff but it's the shields the shields are just lasting forever that like triple health bar really hurts come on guys take him out I had him stunned so long and I don't think I saw my companion shoot him a single time There we go. All right, knocked it out, wrapped it up. God, Jack's about to try and steal our ship. Oh, tried not to make that sneeze too loud for you guys. Hopefully it was good. Cerberus. Oh, and yeah, she's not a big fan of Cerberus. What the hell do you want? You're welcome, your Jack. Eyes. He was already dead. He just didn't know it. Now, what the hell do you want? My name is Shepard, and I'm here to get you off this ship. I'm not going anywhere with you. You're Cerberus. Not really. I'm just loosely I'm associated with, with them. Now because they can help me. With them, for them, I don't care. 
You show up in a Cerberus frigate to take me away somewhere? You think I'm stupid? No. This ship is going down in flames. We can get you to safety, and we're asking for your help. We should just knock her out and take her. I'd like to see you try. Then, not a good idea. We're not gonna <laughs> Let's attack her. Good be move. calm. Let's be civil. Look, you want me to come with you? Make it worth my while. What do you tell me? What, what you do you want? I bet your ship's got lots of Cerberus databases. I want to look at those files, see what Cerberus has got on me. Easy you enough. Want me on your team? Let me go through those databases. I'll give I'm you okay with access. it. I don't like Cerberus either. You better be straight up with me. So why the hell are we standing here? Move out. She's such a punk. Also, that like uh, that scar on her neck is a nice touch, just of like little like details and that kind of stuff of like you know somebody definitely tried to fucking you know slit her throat. Welcome to the Normandy, Jack. I'm Miranda, Shepard's second in command. On this ship, we follow orders. Tell the Cerberus cheerleader to back off, Shepard. I'm here because of our deal. Miranda Let's will get let her you the files. The system. Let me know what you find. Hear that, precious? We're going to be friends. You, me, and every embarrassing little secret. I'll be reading down in the hold, or somewhere near the bottom. I don't like a lot of through traffic. Keep your people off me. All good. Better that way. Yeah, get out of here, Miranda. Nobody wants to talk to you anyways. Don't shake your head at me. I don't care about your approval. Alrighty, let's check out some upgrades real quick. Armor upgrades. Let's check these out. Damage protection. Definitely want to research that. Yeah, I got I got a lot of research resources so that's not too bad okay i just wanted to make sure that i uh, fifteen thousand. i have the palladium i need what else do you... i just won't oh, okay nope that makes sense that makes sense all right so we are going to head on back Get ready to uh, kind of start planning our next move. Commander, you received a new message at your private at terminal. every time. Emails, emails. Why can't everybody leave me alone? You know what? It's fine. That's we're going to end this episode here. We're going to hop over and do a little bit of this. Do a little bit of that. Hey, YouTube, how is it going? I appreciate you guys watching these, you know, uh, VODs, I don't know, they're like not really VODs because I edit it down, or I guess I don't edit it much, but you know, I shrink it down for you guys, so I hope you guys enjoy these videos. I, um, you know, I am thoroughly enjoying Mass Effect 2, I hope you guys are enjoying Mass Effect 2 as well. I'm going to, you know, be recording another video or two right now. If you want to, you know, see the full string of videos rather than just getting, you know, the little drip feed, then, you know, tune in live over at the Glinting Ruffian uh, channel over on Twitch. Hey, if you can't watch all of it, but you watched, you know, part of it over on Twitch, hey, the rest of it's going to be up on YouTube over at the Glinting Ruffian YouTube channel. If you want some highlights, that's over at, at the TikTok channel, on the TikTok channel. Um, and, you know, that's also Glinting Ruffian. Hey, you want to check out some tweets? That's going to be over on Twitter. Also, Glinting Ruffian. But uh, yeah, you know, I appreciate if you like, comment, follow, subscribe, all the things on all the platforms. It really does mean a lot to me. And uh, I hope you guys are doing well. I appreciate you watching the video. And, uh, you know, I'll see you guys in the next video. And uh, goodbye, YouTube.